and an increasingly popular drug could become illegal as soon as next January. State Senator Ron Alting says he's already drafting new legislation that would establish stiff penalties for using K2 or spice here in Indiana. This is hot. This is popular in listening to kids throughout uh, our schools. Um, you know, it, and what makes it more attractive is that it's legal. But State Senator Ron Alting says he hopes that won't be the case for long. He says he's already asked the Indiana Senate attorney to draft legislation that would ban this new drug, often called K2 or Spice. Over the next few months, he says he's pushing for more research to understand the drug's toxicology, to learn more about its long-term effects. We do know that it's bad. It's very, very bad. And it's a three times worse than marijuana and the side effects according to physicians that's in our emergency rooms throughout the state have testified that uh, you know it's in the same level of oxycontin and some of those drugs that get you uh, it has lifelong damage. Because of those dangerous effects, Alting says he'll be pushing for strong penalties for using K2 in his bill. Purdue Police Captain of Special Services Eric Chin says at this point, any penalty is a step up. Right now, there is no enforcement tool for us to use here at the, at the police department or in the state of Indiana regarding K2 or spies. He says his department has received several calls about people smoking a suspicious substance, but once officers determined it was spice, there was nothing else they could do. It definitely makes us worried, especially with the effects that we've been seeing. My personal concern with K2 would be someone uh, experimenting with K2 and then getting behind the wheel. Uh, K2 has different side effects. It affects everyone differently. Um, uh, one of the effects would be hallucination, uh, uh, seizures, a high uh, heart rate, uh, vomiting. So the last thing we really need is someone out there. Uh, and they'll be driving a vehicle and then have a seizure or, or uh, start vomiting. A concern echoed by Senator Alting, who says he's been told his K-2 bill will be the first piece of legislation to be heard when legislative session begins in January. If it passes, it would be effective immediately. We need to get this off our shelves for our young people and do it quick, uh, as quick as possible.